smart metering aims to encourage the NHS to cut their carbon emissions by making them aware of exactly how they are consuming energy and perhaps more persuasively, how much that energy costs them. Of course, many NHS employees already take part in car sharing schemes, buy energy efficient appliances and offset the carbon impact of their long haul flights. So from a purely altruistic point of view, having a simple piece of technology in their home or place of work that can help them cut carbon dioxide emissions sounds like a no brainer. In this program, we speak to Elster Group, Eaton Electric and Endress and Hounser, who tell us about their advanced metering innovations and how they can help the NHS to reduce carbon emissions in their sites. Tim Price, Public Sector Manager at the Carbon Trust, explains how advanced and smart metering can help the NHS manage its energy usage. The Carbon Trust can offer a range of services to help the NHS to cut carbon emissions and also cut its energy bills. We have on-site surveys where an expert consultant will come out and do a quick survey of a site to flag up the kind of quick cost-effective energy saving measures the NHS should be prioritising. Uh, and we go right through to our full NHS uh, carbon management programme, uh, which helps us to go right through the process of setting a carbon baseline, uh, establishing what the most cost and carbon effective projects are to cut their emissions, and drawing that together into a board approved carbon management plan at the end of the process. The Elster Group is a world leader in the provision of advanced metering and smart grid solutions. The company is 170 years old. We have about 7,000 employees and operations in 38 countries, actually with a very significant presence here in the UK that includes manufacturing, service, installation and support. In terms of the solutions that we provide, they extend to electricity, gas and water. So we provide advanced metering solutions to utility customers. And uh, we also provide solutions through our subsidiary Energy ICT to private and public sector enterprises, such as the, the, the NHS. Uh, the solutions themselves essentially extend from meters, if you like, uh, the, the plain meter that many people don't probably notice when they walk into their home or into their business, through to the communication layer that sits on top of this, all the way up to uh, meter data management, which is increasingly important nowadays in the context of having a far richer understanding of energy consumption and so on. So uh, uh, very much working in, in energy conservation, energy preservation, which of course is very high on, uh, on the agenda nowadays of uh, the community at large, politicians and, and so on. Advanced metering infrastructure is a term that comes from, from the grids, the utilities. It is the whole set of components that build a solution in order to capture energy consumption data from meters transport it, communicate it to a central communication platform, a database, where it can be handled, analyzed, turned into bills. Elster Energy ICT offer a whole set of uh, products that build um, an energy management uh, solution in order to achieve that energy reduction. It is key that certain challenges are overcome. Um, it is key to provide information to the staff how much one consumes in a certain department to allow them interactively to change eventually um, a set point to say well if we consumed last week 120 kilowatt hours in this department uh, we'd like to go to 100 we believe by changing our behavior we'll be able to achieve that so one of the components that um, Elster Energy ICT provides is, is an energy dashboard. It's an interactive screen that presents in real time what the consumption is per department, per type of activity. Another challenge in building an efficient uh, solution um, is, is not to limit it to just electricity, which is the first utility that would one would want to manage. But we also have to look at gas, at water, at steam, at compressed air, heat, cold. So uh, the challenge that this brings is that we need a solution that is capable to communicate with different types of energy meters and gather that information into a central computer and in, into a central platform. And that's also what we, uh, Elster Energy ICT, bring. Also producing electricity, gas, water meters and Energy ICT adding there the communication technologies, the thing, the product that really takes the information out of the meters and put it on an IP network using RF, GSM, GPRS to push that information to that database. And uh, as I said, it is also key to learn 
from other sites, other uh, hospitals, and see how well they, they behave there, how, how well they manage their energy uh, consumption. If, if, for instance, they have a best practice and achieve 100, which would be a very good uh, key performance indicator. And in another uh, hospital, they use 120 too much. Well, that best practice should be implemented in those less performing hospitals or sites and uh, with the software by analyzing, comparing comparables, correcting for um, number of patients. Because if you have more patients, you should be allowed to consume more. But our software will allow to correct it, to make, to normalize it in order to really compare apples with apples and, and um, really allow to implement energy saving, energy cost reduction uh, programs. Um, and once you have done that, uh, you, make, you have to maintain this. Again, the software there will help to uh, monitor those best performing practices, those key performance indicators, and will trigger alarms and messages to the energy users, to the users looking at the dashboards that they are not performing well this day and, and, and get them back in track in order to achieve that goal of energy consumption reduction and by this means also reducing the CO2 footprint. We have an advanced metering infrastructure. We measure the main utility electricity coming in, water, gas, and electricity, and we break that down even further into sub-metering, so we can analyze various parts of the store and see where our electrical consumption is going. Yeah, the energy display unit has two dials at the top. One's analyzing how much electricity the store's used year to date. The next one analyzes how it did last week or how much electricity it used last week. You've got a lead table up there, how it's performing as a relative size against other stores within a group. And you've also got carbon information at the top as well, how, the, how over the last two years, how much carbon it's saved. And underneath that, you've got a second row of dials, which indicates the various areas, up to five different areas, bakery, refrigeration, HVAC, lighting, and the petrol filling station. And that details how much electricity they're using as a, like an entity in, in themselves. One of the successes we've had so far is this store that we're in today. We installed the energy display unit and noticed that the petrol filling station dial was actually well into the red. When we walked across there, following the next tips on the screen, we noticed that the lights under the canopy were all on during daylight. So we resolved this issue and that's moved back into the green and it saved us about 21,000 kilowatts per year. So the NHS faces a growing demand clearly for the services that it provides to the community and these services need to be provided against the backdrop of increasing budgetary pressures. Now given that, I think that there's an opportunity here to look for efficiency opportunities to free up resources that can be used, uh, channeled to, uh, to meet those, those growing needs. And energy management, energy consumption represents one clear opportunity to free up resources. There's no doubt in my mind that by installing advanced metering infrastructure and actually using that to better understand what's being consumed and how to actually consume it more effectively, more efficiently, will uh, provide um, better resource management. It will free up resources that can be channeled elsewhere. A well-designed metering system is pretty much essential to any well-designed energy saving and carbon saving campaign. Uh, for a start, NHS trusts will need to know what their baseline is, they'll need to know where they're starting from and what their carbon emissions were before they start to take action. And then they will need to be able to track the effects of different projects they're putting in place, whether that be a technical project like new lighting or whether it be some kind of behaviour or awareness campaign to change staff behaviour and change the way that staff work in the hospital, they will need good metering to be able to track what effect those measures are having on their site. And that will then enable them to modify their campaigns, modify what they're doing and target their investment in the most cost and carbon effective way they can. Governments have introduced new tax breaks and other economic incentives regulations like the CRC programme for curbing energy use and the call to reduce the environmental impact of the world's ever-growing energy demands has grown louder than ever before. So whilst there are challenges, there are also some great opportunities. The UK government is leading globally an initiative to help organisations reduce their emissions, their carbon emissions and therefore their energy costs. The NHS falls under this, this new regulation, along with all other government bodies and also the top 5,000 organisations across the UK who consume the most energy. 
This scheme is there to help guide, innovate and reward those organisations that are reducing their energy and therefore their carbon emissions and their costs within their organisations. Clearly, with the rising costs of energy, this is becoming a major factor for consideration by estate managers, particularly in this economic challenging times. CloudApps and Eaton are helping organisations and their customers travel along their own personal carbon journey. This typically falls into three main phases, a reactive phase, a proactive phase and an opportunity phase. In the reactive phase, we're helping those organisations be able to quickly and efficiently measure and comply with the appropriate legislation, whether that be mandatory legislation like the carbon reduction commitment or voluntary legislation like the carbon disclosure project. Then we move into the second phase, which is more proactive, which is where you're trying to compare and contrast your usage of energy to try and find hotspots within your organisation. You're trying to engage your employees, your partners, your customers in this whole process. And then you're looking to reduce your energy usage and therefore your carbon emissions and your costs. The final phase, the opportunity phase, this is where you're looking for new revenue opportunities around this whole new sustainability area and we're helping organisations identify those as well. Eaton is a large multinational business with sales of more than 12 billion dollars, predominantly supplying power distribution and control components. We offer everything from sockets to medium voltage systems. When it comes to energy efficiency, the starting point has to be measuring your current energy consumption and we offer a number of metering solutions. We're helping businesses of all sizes measure and monitor their energy uses, whether it be by building, by floor or by department. We have various metering and energy display products to suit all budgets and to meet all of our customer needs. Once our customers are able to measure their energy consumption, we are able to supply products to help reduce their energy consumption, such as voltage reduction technology, power factor correction, lighting control and drives. If appropriate, we are able to look at alternative financing options with our customers, such as sharing the savings from energy reduction and also sharing the, saving, the capital costs involved. As a market leader in this field, we have been able to work with customers in both the public and private sector to help reduce their energy consumption and obviously their energy bills. We would suggest that customers start small with some simple metering allowing them to monitor their energy consumption, probably at the point of incoming supply. They can always invest in more sophisticated equipment to en monitor energy usage at a more granular basis at a later stage. The starting point has to be to contact us so we can arrange for a site visit which we can discuss your metering requirements and also look to see if we can assist in any short-term energy saving options. The Eating Cloud Apps Partnership gives you the ability to measure, monitor, control, comply and of course reduce. Let us help you meet your CRC commitment today. Advances to smart metering is a very important way for the NHS to meet its cost and carbon reduction targets. Uh, firstly, it's an early action metric under the new legislation, the carbon reduction commitment the government has just brought in. Uh, secondly, it's a very important method for the NHS to be able to measure and monitor the results of carbon and energy saving projects. Uh, and in so doing, it will enable them to communicate the cost and carbon savings of these projects to senior decision makers and to their board. Anderson Hauser is a global leader for the provision of field instrumentation, added value services and automated solutions for a wide range of process industries worldwide. Established in Manchester in 1968, Anderson Hauser UK has steadily built its sales and service operation up to today where we have nearly 200 people employed across the UK. Trusted throughout industry, our range of measurement instruments cover for level, flow, pressure, temperature, liquid analysis and recording. Based on open standards, our solutions are durable, accurate and reliable. To ensure we stay this way, 10% of our net sales annually are reinvested into research and development projects. And for the recent years, over 200 new patents have been registered for new innovation products of the future. With our support, our customers are able to optimise their processes for economic efficiency, safety 
and the environmental protection. Measurement and automation are vital for the NHS, as without them, production would be unimaginable. The resultant information is passed on to a dedicated control system for smooth and effective control of your processes. We work with you every inch of the way to work out the ideal energy monitoring solution to suit your requirements and budget. Over many years, we have established ourselves as key innovators in the process instrumentation industry. For example, our liquefant level switch and ProMass Coriolis flow meter have become industry standards over the last few years. To be identified as a key supplier of automated solutions is both a vision and a motivation for Anderson Hauser. This is clearly demonstrated by our energy monitoring and targeting solutions. Designed directly to improve your bottom line, energy monitoring and target is an absolute must for those that want to save money and make efficiencies. The return on investment is a great motivation too, as payback periods are very fast indeed. There are three main components to a modern energy management system. There's the data collection, there's the metering, and there's the data analysis, which is a normally web-based package. The first component is key. Any data analysis is only as good as the measurements obtained. Take, for example, a steam meter on a boiler. This has to be robust, it has to be reliable, it has to be immune for vibration and erosion, which is inherent in a steam system. Second and third components of energy management system is the data analysis and data collection. Advanced web-enabled software solutions and data collection devices are raising their profile. Energy and utility consumption data are collected at preset intervals. Manual readings are a thing of the past. Various data collection devices are available, from simple paperless recorder like Endroschnauzer Ecograph, data managers like Memograph, and also remote terminal units for remote data collection. There are many benefits to monitoring energy consumption, no more direct than saving money. Automatic monitoring and targeting systems work by collecting and analysing your utility consumption data. From this, patterns of energy usage can be identified, targeting efficiencies in certain areas, especially energy intensive areas. Typical savings are between 5 and 20%. Energy intensive areas can be also be identified and targets set for those areas. As a global company, Endresen House has been a provider of field instrumentation for over 50 years and we intend for it to stay that way. Our company's infrastructure is geared to encouraging innovation to maintain our competitive edge. We don't just sell you a solution and leave, we are always on hand to support and advise whenever you need us. We are more than a supplier, we are a partner in the truest sense. Smart meters are all about giving the NHS the tools it needs to understand its energy consumption and therefore help to cut its bills. At their most basic level, they act as an electronic version of the usual utility bills, providing a very immediate and transparent way to see exactly how much energy is being used and what it costs. I'm Georgina Burnett and you've been watching Advanced Metering within the NHS.